hi guys i'm happy to welcome you here once again if you're just joining for the first time this is a channel where you get a lively exciting interesting video reactions you can just name it whatever you know but it promises to be great so do stay tuned hey, hey right now guys i'll be doing a video by cybertone titled no bullets fly this, this is my first time reacting to cybertone and i do hope to to really get some amazing things from there do enjoy with me as we get the best out of this video. It's December the 20th, 1943, and in the freezing air high above Germany, 2nd Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Focke Wolf plant near Bremen, the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass nodes, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Engine 2 had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out and engine 4 now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eki shouted, as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadek, took out the second. Pinky reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF-109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet, just moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. But through the bombers damaged 
The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted Ye Old Pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the well, first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him, helped him. Most of these things. The, the fact that he risked his life really in many ways, and I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you, uh, if you made a habit of feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz flying up alongside them, I am sure that you were shot down many times. But it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, in 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. Hi, my name is Yuhita Ten Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. This is an incredible storytelling group. I, I don't know what to say, I'm just lost for words. I don't know what to say. This performance, this video is kind of touching. It's really, really. Ah, ah this Sabaton, they are really, really amazing. I, I love what I love the direction of this video. I love uh, the write up. I love the way they put it together and you know putting it in, in something like an animation it's kind of bring us some kind of sense and light into into this music I, I love the performance I love the lyrics the lyrics is very 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 interesting and it's kind of meaningful I, I, I love the story itself this is a very very touching story an amazing one I love the overall setup I love I love this 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 performance this is a very very great one this is this is a very great video and it should be dubbed one of the greatest videos this this should get awards you know because this, this is a very very great write-up this is a very they put it up together this performance was really really lit and dope I love the performance overall. This is my first time reacting to Sabaton and I really, really do enjoy what they did. You know, they did something amazing, something incredible. And it is kind of touching, you know. The performance was just 100 over 100. So this is all I've got to say for now. Thank you guys for joining me. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification button so you get notified whenever I drop a video. I uh, do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.